Okay, guys, we're here with uh, Minnesota Vikings fourth round draft pick, Cam Bynum. I know he was announced as a safety, so I'm sure you have some questions about that. They played a lot of corner at Cal, but we'll go ahead if you have questions for Cam. Let me know in the chat. I'll call upon you and we'll get started. All right, we'll go ahead and get started with Jeff Ferrato from Cal Sports Report. Hey, Cam, congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it a lot. Can you, uh, first of all, just take us through the last day or two, and, and especially this morning, where are you? Where did you see this? Who were you with? And what was your reaction and your emotions about everything? Um, so right now, I'm at Big Bear Lake. We rented a cabin, out a big cabin in Big Bear Lake, Southern California, um, right off the lake. So all my family can come. A lot of my teammates from Cal came. So we could just have a lot of people there to see the moment and just been patiently waiting these last few days. and. Um, had no expectations of where I was going to go. I keep my head out of all the mock drafts. So I don't, I had no clue where I was going to go. I didn't tell my agent, don't let me know where I'm going. Let me just get drafted. So I'm just blessed to be able to be drafted. And in Minnesota at that is super blessing. And then, How excited were you? Oh, yeah. What was your family's reaction? Crazy excitement. Um, our fam so I get the call. We're eating breakfast because obviously it's 9 a.m. We plan on eating breakfast at 8 a.m. But my family's always late with stuff. So. Um, everybody's there. We're just now eating breakfast, watching the TV, and my phone starts ringing. I was like, no way. And then, uh, so I'm like, everybody quiet down, quiet down. We're just a thousand cameras in my face, like in 10 seconds. And then they get the call. I don't even know who called me. It could have been a prank call for all I know. Um, so yeah, call. I didn't know if it was a coach or not. I'm just like, thank you, thank you. I started crying. I started ugly crying, and I was just super excited, and I couldn't hold it in, just thinking of all the work we put in. And all my teammates and friends and family being there, it's just, it all paid off. So the excitement was crazy. Everybody's waiting outside right there for me, outside the cabin to go jump in the lake. So that's what we're doing as soon as I'm off this interview. And if I could follow up, Cam, uh, as Kyle said, that there's talk that the Vikings are looking at you as a safety. Can you, can you talk about what they told you? And, and if you anticipated something like this would happen as you transition to the NFL? Yeah, so basically during my interview process, Every single team asked me about playing either nickel or safety, also playing corner too if we needed to. So um, that's something I expected coming into it. Got reps at it at the senior bowl just to start getting that learning curve going. And um, they drafted me as a safety, so I'll be playing safety. Um, get to learn behind one of the best safeties in the league, um, in Smith. So I'm excited about that. And just being able to go play a different position coming from corner, I think it'll be a great transition for me. Thank you. Then we'll go to Phil Robinson. Cam, first of all, congratulations. Big Thank you. deal going on. I'm, I'm so Appreciate happy. That. You. I got a couple for you. So you said your life is a movie. How's that movie going so far? Uh, you guys are going to see. Um, I'll show you right here real quick. We got all the family outside waiting for me to go jump in the lake. So I'm in the, I'm in the cabin room. It's going to be a movie. So just crazy emotional movie. Um, all the family's here. Bunch of teammates here from Cal, all the DBs um, for the past couple of years, Jalen Hawkins, Elijah, Trey Beck, all here to support me. And um, I'm just thankful. And it's a crazy feeling. So it's just emotions are everywhere right now. Right, right. So who's holding the camera while you jump in the lake? We got the drone that just locks on to me. So it's okay. going to follow me. Okay, okay. We also got our Cal, Cal, um, Cal's media guy, Sebastian up here too to get to capture all the footage too from the whole weekend so we captured it all for y'all y'all to see nice nice okay and then my last one so you had mentioned that you had started practicing at the senior bowl at safety i didn't get a chance to see any of that footage how natural did that feel to you it felt really good especially learning from coach alexander back when um he was at at cal he would tell me i need to play safety so when he was at he, he was at the senior bowl being my coach there it was a perfect transition because that's something i've been learning and doing the drills, all the cows practice and stuff. And even outside of the facility, when we do work on our own, I practice that safety and do the drills um, as Elijah Hicks would learn safety because he ended up moving there. So we, we do all of our work together. So that's something that I was able to do a bunch. So I'm just excited to be able to do that. And coming from corner, I'm, I'm excited for that, those matchups too. Nice, nice. Congratulations again. Thank you. Go to, uh, David Bush from... We'll go ahead to David Bush from Bear Insider. 
Uh, congratulations, Cam. I'll add to that uh, list. Uh, what do you know about the Viking style of defense, and uh, how do you think you'll fit into that? Oh, I know they run a lot of too high, especially during the interviews. Those are the installs that we we're doing too high defenses. So uh, that's something I started learning already, and something we do a lot at Cal. So I'll be really familiar with the communication and everything that that, that they do there. So I'm excited for that and just. Learning, because obviously every team is going to run every type of defense. So just the more learning I can do, the more the more happy I'll be. Have you ever been to Minnesota? Not yet. But I can't wait. I'll be <laughs> out there next week. So I'm excited. How you like cold weather? I can do whatever. I, I probably won't even need a sweater. I'm so excited to go out there and just ball. OK, thanks. Thank you. Go back to Jeff Ferrato. Yeah, Cam, can you just talk about uh your experience at Cal and the fact that you're the third DB from, from the program drafted in two year span and sort of what the whole thing means to you. And the fact that you brought all these guys with you to, uh, to the lake, to the cabin this, this weekend suggests that there's a pretty, a pretty good uh, commitment, pretty good uh, connection you have with these people. Yes. Yeah, so I think it's just the culture we set as a DB room and we kind of set the expectation for each other. We put in so much work on the outside. Um, outside of the facility on our own. So that just builds the bonds in the DB room and just our expectation is just to be great. So having Ashton drafted, then Jayhawk, and then me, and then Trey Beck, God willing, get his call this year. That's just something that we we worked for and we expect it. And we expect things to come out of our hard work in whatever form it comes. So just having them here for this moment um, just brings us closer as brothers. And even my guys back up at Cal right now that are still up there, just super thankful for them. I sent them a text in our group chat right away and told them I couldn't have done it without you guys because it's the whole DB room, the culture we set and the expectation just to be the best DB unit in the country, whether we're balling or we're struggling, that's the work we put in every single week to try and be the best, whatever came out of it. And we see the rewards now with Ashton, the Jayhawk, the me, um, just setting, just laying the foundation for the, the younger guys. And what did Jay, Jalen say to you after you got drafted? Uh, he just said a lot of, there's just a lot of noise coming from him. Y'all know how he is. So he's just, he, I was high-fiving everybody. And his high-five for sure hurt the worst. So that, that'll that say enough right there. And is Ashton is not there with you? No, nah, he's, he's in New York right now. So he wasn't able to make it. Um, but Trey Beck is here. Elijah's here. And a, lot, a couple other teammates also. Pretty good day for you? Great day. All my family's here to see it. Bunch of families, like 40 of us out here. Everybody traveled from the Bay Area. So it's, it's crazy. I just feel super thankful for everybody here. Congratulations, Cam. Thank you. Cam, I think Phil Robinson has another one for you. Good, Phil. All right. So you're going to the Vikings, and Mike Zimmer has been known to have outstanding defenses at, at all the places that he's been. What does it mean to you to be able to learn under that toolage to be selected by a guy whose defenses have been some of the best in league history? That's just like, like I said, I'm a super learner. So just being able to learn from anybody that's known as a great defensive coach and somebody that's that sees potential in me and he's going to get the most out of me. So I'm going to give him my all. I'm going to try and learn something new every single day. I'm being that playbook. So I'm just excited to learn from just get that much knowledge from up to the next level now. And even the guys in the room, a lot of vets just on that team. So I'm just excited to learn from them and be able to soak up all their knowledge and just how they go about life. At, at this level. Right on, right on. So Cam, the, the host myself actually has a quick question for you. Can you talk about uh, coming back to Cal this year? And you know, there were times when it looked like you weren't gonna come back and you declared before the season, but can you just kind of talk about maybe what you learned in 2020 and what Cal did for you? Um, I just think just boosted my leadership and put me in a position to be help help more people. So regardless of what came out of the season, it was only four games. So I'm not sure if that helped or hurt my draft stock. And it doesn't matter to me. I was able to go back and there was a new group of freshmen that I was able to lead and teach them a couple of things before before I left. So I'm just super. Did it cut out? Yeah, we're back. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just super excited that I was able to Lead, lead a little more people and be able to help a little more, a couple more guys and just like whatever came out of it, I was excited for that. What do you kind of want um, your legacy at Cal to be? 
as a guy that served and the hardest worker they've ever seen and a guy that served his other teammates. So just in whatever form, just somebody that always put other people first. Okay, I think Jeff has another one. Thank you, I think Jeff has another one for you. Hey Cam, can you take us through what the next few days will be for, like for you? What You know what your schedule is when you go back there and, and what you'll be doing in the meantime, including what you're gonna do the rest of today with your family and friends. Um, so next couple of weeks, um, I think till the second week of May, um, that's when I'll travel up to Minnesota. But for now, just right back, start training again tomorrow. So right back in the, right back in the lab training and then just being able today, just enjoying it with the family. Everybody's here. So we're gonna go jump in the lake, um, just chill by the lake, be relaxed. I'm not a super crazy guy. So I just wanna be able to chill and relax and just enjoy the moment and shed a few more tears and just soak it all in and realize that hard work does pay off. You really have, have no one. idea where you're gonna get drafted, did you? Cam, did, you really had no idea at what point in the draft no you go, did you? There's, like, I don't read any of the mock drafts or anything, so I wasn't sure if I go first, second, third, through seven, or undrafted. Um, so I had no clue. That's that's kind of how I wanted it, because I didn't want to have any expectations and um, get too prideful thinking I, I deserve to be in some type of – in some draft or some, some round, but I'm just thankful to be on a team. So wherever I'm at, that's where I, I landed, and I'm glad I didn't know coming into it. I think you said all, one you, final... all you cared about was getting an opportunity, getting an opportunity, and, and you've got that now. The, the work ahead is is still pretty yeah, significant, got, right? Still got to make the team at the end of the day. So, no, nope, yeah, not going to be happy about any type of money I get or anything. It's just same old cam right on the side of the field, hour before, hour after practice, just getting that work in. Thanks, thank you, Jeff. Jeff, you good? Okay, I think we'll have one final question from Phil, and then we'll. Let Cam get on with the rest of his day. Go ahead, Phil. All right, I plan to make this quick since you've got things to do, celebrations to have. Moving from California, Berkeley especially, and going to Minnesota in the heart of all the social unrest. And while you've got enough on your plate in terms of football, do you plan on getting active in the social justice reform out there in Minnesota as well? Uh, right now, just trying to focus on just my move and getting up there, getting acclimated and whatever, wherever it takes me. Um, be able to do my part and be able to help change the world. So uh, with that, whatever right now I can do, I'll help. But as far as just going out of my way for anything, just always going to just focus on just being the best person I could and start with me. And I think that's the best way to change people around you is just to start with yourself. No, I absolutely agree with you. And knowing your personality, I have no doubts that you will change the world one person at a time and hopefully get on that field and start stacking up some Pro Bowls. Yes, sir. That's the plan. That's all in the plan. Thank you. Well, Cam, we really appreciate your time. We'll follow your social media to see what the rest of your day is like. And uh, and really, thanks for everything over all the years at Cal. Cool. Thank you guys for everything. And I appreciate it. And officially, my last, my last. Thanks, Cam. And my last. <laughs> y'all y'all understand. It's for life. You gotcha. <laughs> all right. Talk to you. All right, Cam. Thank thanks you. a lot. Thanks, Cam. Have fun today, Trace. Okay.